I'm Jennifer Fairbanks and I'm the author of Bare Essentials Bras. I wanted to introduce to you Jenny from Annie and Myra's who has just created her first PDF bra pattern, the Grace Bra. Now I had the privilege of working with Jenny on this pattern release so I'm really excited to see her succeed with this but she also did this little video for us that explains how she's taken what she learned from the Bare Essentials method and turned it into her own. And this is really amazing because I love to hear that people have learned something from the book and can create their own method from it. You don't have to do things by the book. And it is designed, the book itself is designed for you to learn and for you to make it your own. And that is exactly what Jenny did. So I thought it would be really good for you to see what she's done and how she's created her pattern. Well, good afternoon. It's Jenny here from Annie and Myra's. I just wanted to share a little bit about um, the working behind my grace bar pattern. Um, it was just an absolute pleasure to work with Jennifer Fairbanks, who um, very kindly digitized and graded my pattern for me. So I'm going to go through with you uh, how I adapt for different horizontal axis B, C, D and Y sizes within a cup size. Uh, the first pattern I'm going to show you is this three piece bra cup pattern, which I've already used this for. But then I'm going to show you how I would do it for the grace bra pattern. I actually haven't done it for the grace bra pattern yet, but I'm sure that it, it would be adaptable. So what I had been doing until now is that if I had a, a client come to me uh, for fitting, I would actually work on what I thought their cup size would be and their frame size, make up a mock and then fit around that. So once I had that, uh, and this one isn't the one I would be using, but I haven't got one at the moment. So what I would do is put that uh, base pattern onto the client and then following that measure both the horizontal axis, assess the wire size and then um, the vertical axis. So for this particular client um, who worked out to be a 36D um, within my Tabitha pattern which is the three-piece cup pattern and then what I did was worked out what her wire size was and her wire shape which was actually an orange style which has got the wire display at the side and she worked out to be a 46 on that and then what I did was measured the horizontal axis while the bra was on which may not be the perfect method but that's what I did and measured the horizontal across that way and also the vertical across from the wire line up to the above the swell of the breast like that and then I'm going to show you how I adapted um, that on paper so I'm going to take you down to the table now so if we go to the chapter on bra cut pattern drafting, it's page 153 on this second edition, but we're going to draw the horizontal and the vertical axis at a perpendicular, which I've done here um, on this, which I hope you can see because I've drawn it in black uh, Sharpie pen. Then from that, I've measured that the vertical axis here um, the BCD came to 9 and the horizontal axis across here came to 22. And then using the compass, I've drawn an ellipse from there to create this shape. And then from there, I've got this wire, the 46, measured the wire length using my um, flexible ruler and marked the side here where the wire ends and the side, here, the front at the bridge where the wire is going to finish. Then what I've done is got my uh, original 36D pieces, which are here, the lower outer cup and the inner outer cup and placed those where they would be going on that line there. And then I usually put some tracing paper over the top so I can see where I'm going and then another piece of paper over the top and redraw those pieces so that they will align with where they need to be so they'll fit onto that wire line at the bottom which is those two pieces then making sure that 
the apex here meets where the BCD should be. And then once I've done those uh, lower cut pieces, I will then change to the upper cut pieces, put those together uh, as they're going to fit. And then try with the upper cup piece, which is this piece here. which actually starts there, I want to make sure that I'm getting right up enough upper cup coverage here. Now, hopefully you can see here, a bit hard to see, but I've raised the BCD here, which means that I've raised the top of these two pieces. And then I've got my upper cup sitting here, put another piece of paper over there, and I know that I need to get that height up here. So then I realign all of those so I can see where I'm at across that horizontal, which is where that upper cut piece is going to sit and assess that I've got the right horizontal across there as well. Then what I'll need to do is get the original frame, which is here and here. Uh, swap these around so I'm going to remove those and put the frame which that was the frame but now it needs to be adjusted to be larger so again putting another piece of paper down and redrawing that with our wire here Like that. Now you might notice that I haven't, I've allowed for a little bit of wire splay here, sorry, a little bit of wire spring here and here, and just a fraction of what the wire splay was added with the previous pattern, so I haven't re added that. Now, say I wanted to do that with the grace bra pattern, which I haven't done yet. So, keeping in mind that this one uses a round wire, I've redrawn the line. And then I've placed here one, the outer cup and the inner cup, and I've placed them on the wire line to make sure that that will fit. Um, interestingly, I need to mostly alter the outer cup. This is a size 40 wire one. And then what I would do is get the pencil, a little bit hard to see on here because uh, the light is reflecting off. But what I would do is redraw this line up to the BCD here. This uh, is at the center here. And then redraw the, this curve again. Just gonna do it roughly at the start and then I'll clean it up later. Uh, mostly for the purpose of this video. So that's going to be my outer cup. Now, as I might have said, I've now re had this digital hand graded, uh, sorry, computer graded by uh, Jennifer. So, and I'll be doing this by computer. But this is how I would have I would try to adjust it if I wanted to alter the horizontal axis and the BCD within a pattern. So I've there got now got that upper cup, sorry, the outer cup done. Again, a bit hard to see, so I might actually add a photo in uh, when I finish this video. But here, again, I'm going to redraw where the BCD finishes here, where it meets here. Redo our wire line along here. And I'll add the seam allowances later. And then, again, we're going to have to alter along here redraw to get the BCD coming across like that and then this across here so now I've got those two pieces redrawn and I'll just take a photo of how I play 
So hopefully you can now see that I've got this meeting here at the center line at the BCD, sorry, at the apex height and over here at the side. Um, I haven't added the seam allowances to this one. Um, and then I'm going to check the horizontal and the frame. What I've done now is put the two together where the seam allowance would meet at the apex. And you can see that it's correct for the width here and correct for the width here. I actually might need to adjust to keep that apex more at the center. So I'll do that uh, shortly to bring the center across. So I've taken a little bit off here and added it here so that those meet at the uh, apex. And then I've got this horizontal measurement across being correct. So we'll now move on to the frame. The exciting thing is that now I've had this pattern graded to the wire, I don't need to do this. And I'm very excited that I'll be learning this in computer grading, but this is how I would have altered it by hand if I wasn't doing computer drafting. You can see I've placed together the side frame and the bridge. Then I've got my 46 wire there. So I've drawn the outline with a Sharpie pen so you can see it. Now I've redrawn the wire line and the other lines around that. And next I just check that the cut will fit into the frame along the wire line. And then I'm going to uh, just redo the curves and add the seam allowances. Actually, as this is the first time I've done it with this uh, grace pattern, I might actually alter the curve here to still keep it the same measurement, but take a little bit off there and curve it out there to give that a better curve. And then what I'm going to do is make that up as a muslin and test it on my client. So I hope that helps to try and work out how I was doing it, but now I'll be doing it by the computer, which is very exciting. And thank you so much to Jennifer Fairbanks for inspiring me to do all of this. Um, thank you. Thanks for watching. If you would like to have more content like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, or leave a comment below. Thank you very much.